what people around town at these other golf courses are worried about is like, oh my God, we're losing out on a $7 beer. Whereas our position is, well, it only costs us fucking 50 cents. Okay, so I don't know if you've been noticing, but I want to talk about like the whole farm. So I went to like this fucking farm thing on the weekend. Huh? It's this fucking, I don't even know what to call these. They're, they're like farms with like playgrounds now and shit. Have okay. you seen all these? Like, have you seen these things? Like the apple like, orchards okay, and like the yeah, pumpkin yeah. patches. They got all this fucking crazy shit for kids and everything. Yeah. So I went to one on the weekend and I feel like, I feel they're doing shit a little bit wrong. And the reason why I feel like they're doing it a little bit wrong is because, I, well, I have, I have two opinions about this. Number one, it really pisses people off to have to pay admission to go buy a product, Mm -hmm. okay? And even in the event they're going there to have fun with their kids, would you rather have more foot traffic coming through the door to get them to certain points of sale, like to go, you know, buy bags of apples or, you know, buy food, you know, like hamburgers or whatever, like for their kids or whatever, or like whatever right because mm. th- then you then you also have like certain passes like they they have all these these areas that require like now you have to get a band in order to go into these certain areas that they're checking and that's fine I, I understand that but they're actually like charging cover to get into their like farm at this point now and i'm like r- i really disagree with it and it's not like i it's not like i can't afford five dollars Mm-hmm. But I'm like, why the fuck am I paying five dollars to come to your fucking farm to go pick apples to buy? Like, mm-hmm. you, you, you get what I mean? I I almost feel like with that should come like a free bag of apples, access to everything if you want to charge people. But no, like maybe a free lunch, like all that stuff. You want like you want to charge at least at least make people feel like. They're, they're getting, getting something. Getting something. So I think that they're doing it wrong. And it's not like you're walking into fucking Cedar Point. Right. Okay? Like you're not walking into like some fucking amazing fucking Canada's Wonderland or anything like that. So I walk into these places and I'm like, I got to pay cover. And I'm like, what the fuck am I paying this for? Like I don't even like apples that much, number one. But like that's that's besides the point. I know people like apples. But like me, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And like everything is like so half-ass done. It doesn't feel like proper, so you don't really feel like you're getting like a great experience, right? So from my perspective, I'm like, just let people fucking go in there. Yeah, you're going to get people using your shit for free. Yeah, yeah, fine. But at the end of the day, I think strategically putting certain things in place to convert kids and their families Mm -hmm. where like, you know, kids are these days where like they see something, they fucking zero in on it and like, like, God forbid you don't get it. Like they're going to die, right? So I think that they, they should focus more on uh, um, strategically converting people that are on site. And with that strategy, I think you'd actually make more money converting people to buy your products and services rather than charging a cover and then you know, shit going around town like what the fuck is this or like even people on site like when you walk through the door you're already having a bad experience. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I've, and, and this is the case like no matter where you go. Like this isn't like a fucking zoo, right? Where like that that's the draw, right? And, and I understand it. Like some of these places are they're getting like they are becoming like these weird half-assed like theme parks but not. Mm-hmm. They're like put together with like really weird shit and like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You understand these places? Yeah, I've been to one like uh, a couple of weeks ago with my like niece and nephew. Yeah, it's yeah. like really, what, what, like what's your feeling on, on these things? Like well, I, I feel yeah. like we should give like these people like advice. Like as a business person walking through the doors of these places, I don't feel like they're doing it right. Mm-hmm. So the one that I went to didn't have a cover. Okay, which one was this? Um, fuck, I don't remember the name of it. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll try finding it out afterwards. Farm. But yeah, yeah. Um, it's a smaller one. It's an apple orchard, um, kind of just up past Manning, and yeah, no cover. But mm-hmm. like when you walk in, like you're only paying for the apples, and then like you can get like fucking pies and strudels and yeah. whatever else is there. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah, I think that like majority of people that are going there are already going to be buying something because like you're not really going to go there and just what like look at the apples and then leave like yeah. this, now, mind you, this one had had less of an actual, like it didn't have a hay ride or these other like activities. Um, but yeah, I feel like if, especially on a, on a place like that, you want to try to have, I would say, yeah, one, like have no cover so that you're trying to get as much traffic right? as, as possible yep. and then have things that are like so affordable that people are like, well, it's pretty much a no brainer for me to just at least buy this. Yeah. Like, let's say for example, like, uh, like uh, McDonald's and Tim Hortons both do this strategy where they're like, Hey, like we'll have $1 yeah. coffees or $1 yeah. uh, drinks. And the reason why they do that is because they want to make it so cheap that, okay, yeah, if someone comes and just buys one coffee for a dollar, then yeah, you're not making any money. Yeah. But at the same time, like more than likely, once they get there, they're buying something besides yeah. just that one dollar yeah. coffee. So this, a place like this could do like one dollar coffees or one dollar apple ciders or whatever. But then you have your pies for fucking twenty five bucks or whatever because yeah. you're like, oh, that, that looks really good. Like I might as well get that. But your markup on those things is huge. Yeah. I went there and I bought a fucking fry, like not big at all, like 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 this like a very like a small fucking fry right like i could wrap two hands around it easily like mm-hmm. it, it was just a fry right and it wasn't like where you're like eating these fries and you're like holy fuck these are like the best fries in the world right like it wasn't that and i bought like a fucking pop of like diet ginger like canada dry or some shit like that it was 17 fucking dollars and i'm like god almighty is this like <laughs> expensive as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I remember feeling like I paid cover and my fries were like almost 20 bucks and, and, and a pop. It was fucking egregious. Okay. And I, and I'm just like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't even want to be here anymore. Like, and here's the thing is that, will you go back? Y- yeah, probably, mm-hmm. probably because you know, all the kids in uh, in our family and everything like that, they all like going to stupid shit like that, which is, which is, but I won't, I won't do that. Mm-hmm. Like, but I, but I'll, I'll go back, but I won't feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Maybe I will. I don't know. It, it, who knows? It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. But, but I see uh, what I, see, I see your point though. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be pissed. Mm-hmm. That's the experience that I'm gonna have when I, when I come back. Like I, you're absolutely right. No cover, not lost leaders, but something to get people comfortable with. Oh wow, that's good spending value. Spending money there. Yeah. Exactly. Spending money there, and and mark up on the things that matter. Yep. Get people through the door and have cheap like like have like a pop and fry combo, two bucks. Everybody's buying that. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna buy pie for twenty five bucks or thirty bucks or twenty bucks or whatever. You're gonna make it back. You're gonna fucking make it back. Get as many people through the door as fucking humanly possible. And maybe what you should do is instead of like putting shit all in like left field, like you should have like your certain booths or your your certain things strategically placed to pull and convert people that are in those specific areas, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think that they capitalize on that very well. Th- there's a reason why the like there's chocolates and magazines and item and drinks and everything like that at the end of grocery exactly. stores as you're and checking everybody out. has to walk through. Right, everyone has to walk through, and in a place like this, what you could do is that if you've already given them a good experience, where they're like, "Wow, I've gotten great value out of this place. Yeah. It was a great experience. My kids loved it, and I didn't spend that much money." Relatively, if you have some sort of thing where it's the same reason why a gift shop fucking exists at a lot, at a lot of these places, because as you're leaving, you're like, "Fuck, that was a good experience. Okay, I'll spend some extra money here because I already got a great value." Yeah, you don't right? feel like uh, and, you're getting ripped off. Like, and I think that's just an, walking through the door. Exactly. I think that's such an important uh, business principle. Is the whole idea is that the, as the business business owners or as the business operators, you should be giving value first yep. and not like receiving first. Cause essentially if you're like, Hey, I'm going to get like, I think there was a, um, a random study or whatever, where they did, I think this is at like a, an arena or something where every single person that walked in got like a free drink, like every single person, no matter what, it was just like water or pop or whatever, but there's someone handing them out some sort of free gift. Mm-hmm. And the day that that happened, the sales were like 50% higher than the day that they didn't hand anything out for free. And that's including the cost of all the waters and the pops and everything that they gave out. And so the whole idea is that people are much more likely to spend money when mm-hmm. they've already received something of value up front. Yep. That's exactly why we give a free beer out. Not a free beer, but a beer is included in your price of golf. Mm-hmm. Gets you through the door and you're going to sit down and you're going to order more beer and you're going to probably get something to eat. 
Mm-hmm. You, f- you feel like you're getting value. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're getting value over and above what you ordinarily get around town because nobody else does that shit. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're wor- what, they're, what around town, what people around town at these other golf courses are worried about is like, oh my God, we're losing out on a $7 beer. Whereas our position is, well, it only costs us fucking 50 cents. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking no brainer because they're going to come in and buy another one anyways, ordinarily when they would have, uh, or in, instead of leaving. Right. Because you're sitting there, let's say, uh, with a foursome. You're sitting there at the table. You all have your free beer. You're like, okay, well, we might as well get a second one because we have service. We feel bad yeah. like using the service without actually spending any money. We have, we have so. people. We, have, we even have people. It's routine for them to actually tip the waitresses f- from just having the free beer. Mm-hmm. You know? Like it's that that happens. Like yeah, you you don't guilt trip people into feeling like you know having to buy more. But what they do is they feel good about buying more because they got something of value up at up front up front. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a it's a it's a great marketing strategy to do that. So I think that these yeah these farms and and stuff like that are doing it completely wrong. Mm-hmm. I, I love I love when you walk into some in some place and I love like the whole free something that is unexpected mm-hmm. right so that's that's a great strategy 